Javi and Psycho D. I think it's oh, Psycho D. I don't Psycho, know how to say Psych it. Psychod. Psychod. Yeah. Okay. Ike Villager. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about Ike having that that uh, message. Gotta go fast. That's just my first vibe off the bat. Like, this character is not fast <laughs> at all. But it is what it is. I think this is a eh, it's decent, decent matchup for Ike. Just because he has the range. I was gonna and say Villager, that's... Tends, Villager tends to just really struggle versus characters like that. But yeah. Ike's recovery pretty exploitable with this character, so I think that's where we're going to really see Javi uh, shine in this matchup. Most definitely. I, I think that's what Javi needs to look for and look at in this opportunity in the matchup is get him off stage and then take things from there. But while he's on stage, he remains a dominant threat. I think, like, in the neutral, Ike's ability to just pressure you with aerials is really scary for Villager, and he has to consistently play in mid-range because he lacks poor boxing options. Oh, oh close. he doesn't get the full ether. Oh Ooh. man, dang! Even from full screen, yeah. And he tried. To, he actually tried to uh, move his hurt box by using the neutral special. Sorry, yeah, that uh, ether is gonna be. That ether is gonna be really good too. Uh, in this matchup, just Oof. that extra armor to go through the Lloyd as well. Yeah, it's really, really good stuff. Man, he's just swinging the swords like, all right, all right, bro. I don't care where you are on this stage. You have to find a way to get past Ragnar, and uh, if you can't, I'm just gonna keep hitting you. <laughs> and Saikawa was such a big lead, extending the wow. league almost even further here. One sixteen to one hundred three, two socks to three. Psychod shows no signs of stopping here. Oh Excellent opportunity because he rolled back so he could still hold center stage. And that's so big against Villager. But here's finally a back throw. Dude, I didn't even know he could use F tilt to destroy the Lloyd as well. He can just throw that move out to poke, destroy the Lloyd, and potentially kill Villager with it at the same time. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. That's the greatest thing about Smash sometimes. You learn something new every match. Oh my. Damn, he read that air dodge years ago. Huge lead for Saikai right now. Nice grab. Javi, man, he just wants to get something started. These Ike hitboxes are just so good versus Villager right now. Okay, snap and jump. So oh. close. So close. He... Excellent Lucian there. Uh, Javi's forced to try to make a landing here, and he has to oh. go to the ledge, yeah. That's an issue against fighting against Ike here. If you're fighting him, your best opportunity is to try to like move yourself towards a ledge, because any opportunity where he can juggle you with an aerial only increases your percent and chances of dying, especially with the platform extensions on Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah. Even then, though, he has so many strong horizontal moves as well that he can just kill you off the side if you're trying to go to the ledge, too. But does he catch the jump? Oh, uh oh, almost really bad for Javi there. Yeah, he just hasn't really been in a spot where he can abuse that uh, forward smash bowling ball off stage. Psycho's been having really good recovery. He's almost getting that down air through the ledge. Ike's down air hitbox is kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, it hits so far and like the spike is super active. <laughs> it's actually not uncommon to hit, hit for him to just spike people all the way through the ledge, but there's the nair up air. Easy, easy confirm there for Psychod. That actually was a pretty dominant game, honestly. There, there wasn't very many times where he wasn't in control of the match. Yeah, he had the. I was gonna say he had an entire control of the match from the start to finish. Really rough for Villager, because like I said, in any character in any situation here, specifically Villager, he has poor landing options. You have to go to the ledge to make that recovery. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what Javi does to uh, adapt here in this match. It was very difficult for him. Honestly, this seems like one of those one of those matchups where you want to consider having a secondary. I, I don't know. It looks really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it looks really difficult. It's 
like I said, like the mid range is really good for Villager. Big problem though is like Villager has to get close, and Ike is really excels at being able to perfectly. I wouldn't say perfectly punish you that way, but like if he reads you trying to come in like that, he gets a lot from it. More so than Villager, but I think Javi is now it's off to a, a great point. start. Yeah. Yeah, he's forced to use the early quick draw to relieve some pressure, but. Yeah, if he can keep setting up that situation where he sna snags the double jump from Mike off stage, he can get some really good uh, stocks. Of course, setting up that situation is not easy at all when you have these insane hitboxes from Mike. But uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna how it's gonna be how he needs to capitalize if he wants to win this. Yeah, really good up B there coming out. Excellent call out there, especially against Javi. You're gonna be seeing that yeah, a lot from Psychod. Yeah, that e is just so good. Look, it goes right through the lower rock. He's going to get punished for that, but if it connects, that's just either a kill or massive amounts of damage. Yeah, and it's good call it's too, because... To go for it. Exactly, because Villager always pushes in with Lord Rocket. So it's an excellent call out against Villager. Up air? Close. Oh, still chasing him, though. And look at where Javi had to go. He still had to go to the ledge, because he knows if he chooses to land, he's got poor landing options, and that could be another Ike up air, and could be a stock. Okay. Goes for the up smash here. Yeah, he's starting to bait out that ether now. Yeah. It's good for him. That's what he's going to have to do here. Unfortunately, tough trade coming out for Javi here. Able to finally touch the stage first, though. Okay. Oh, I look for a cross up close. Yeah, he's really looking to see if he can force uh, Saika to jump. Yep, oh, nice punch from you. Yeah, he wants to force him to jump and then, you know, snag him with the forward air, snag him out of his double jump, push him to the corner of the stage, and then really go from there. Nice, us uh, smashing to the axe is really good for Scent. And uh, this is like one of the first times, oh, never mind. I was going to say, first time he's working <laughs> with the stock lead, kind of forced Ike to approach some bad spots. But uh, that dash attack, just not caring about anything, just destroying the Lloyd Rocket. Okay. Oh, close. Uh, he had oh. the charge too, but he held it for a little bit too long. I understand it though. He wanted to catch him, but the ether arm was also something to account for. Yeah, yeah. Also, Saiga um, delayed his up a little bit to make make that timing pretty difficult. Very yeah. good recovery, man. There's a forward air. Oh, close to the forward. Oh, no tech chase. Yeah, it's really good for Javi right now. Empty hop here, he's looking for a neutral air and he finds one. Uh, a great parry on the Lloyd as well. Oh no! Oh no! Why is this happening every time, bro? Yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah, I hate to see it. It happens every At time. least they didn't disconnect. That's all I'm gonna say. Alright, who do you think's gonna win? Ah, oh, hashtag save smash indeed, my friends. Hashtag save smash. Um, big shout out to Zfly. Subscribe for 59 months. That is almost... Is that five years? I don't know. I'm really bad at math. Let me see. 12, 12, 24. So, 36, 48. Yeah, almost five years. Z Zfly is one more month away from five years. So yeah, mm. we have two, two people in the five years. I, I know it was PSI guy, Z Fly, Helvet, and Axia, who have like <laughs> some of the longest uh, months subscribed. Oh yeah, well, well, uh, I have the longest. Do you? I, I hold on. All right, and Psychon takes that. What? Uh, <laughs> he brought that back. He brought that Dang. back, man. He I wish I back. saw how that match ended. I wish that too, man. But uh, one one smash problem at a time, my friend. One smash problem at a time. Dang. So now Psycho's up 2-0. Looking good. I think Ike's another character we see a lot of in uh, MSM. Oh, like even outside of Raven King, I remember there's also Guts, uh, Psychod. There's someone else too. Or, dang, I just can't remember his type. Ryuga? No. I've never seen Ryuga play MSM. I don't 
Oh, play I miss him. Sorry, I thought you said like. Nah, not yes. There was another really good. There's a lot of really good online Ikes, honestly. The character is really good. I started playing Ike a little bit too, just to you know see how he is. And uh, yo, yeah, it was Jr. It was Jr. Yeah, yeah. Dang, you guys know, man. You guys know. <laughs> Shout out to WebJP helping Silent Strands figure out who that other Ike is. PSI yeah, Ike is. Ike is really good, and he's not super difficult to play online either. No, he's not. He's not. A lot of fundamentals, a lot of good knowledge of using empty hops. I, I want to say if you're really good, if you have solid fundies, character definitely accelerates for you. Oh my god, that dash attack, dude. It's completely destroyed the Lloyd rocket. Yeah, if Javi's not careful and he starts, uh, like, you know, autopilot using the Lloyd rocket like a kill percent, he's just gonna just. Oh my god, he read his air dodge so long ago. <laughs> Dude, that was such an easy stock for Psychod. And it's not even like Javi is doing anything super wrong with this character. It's just Ike doesn't let the basic villager game plan work easily. Nice, excellent down tilt to the up tilt confirm. Yeah, that down tilt, I think it got a hitbox change in one of the patches that just yeah. made it so much easier to follow up off of. Ike down tilt is just as scary as Ike going for empty hop because it usually is the mix up he gets afterwards. Oh. Excellent reversal from Javi here, 66%. A little bit of space to breathe now. Yeah, that unfortunately, was very he's still great. in disadvantage at the ledge here. That's the big issue for Villager. Dang, Psychod just saying, let me, let me get rid of this tree real quick. You don't need to have to deal with any axe. I I'm not even gonna try to ledge trap you. I don't. I don't even care. Oh my god! You almost died to that ether. Okay, at the ledge once again. Ike's hitbox is very threatening right now. Okay, Javi's gonna use his jab just to try to set up on the ledge a little bit. Oh, nope, no snag on that up B. Oh, he fell out of the up tilt. That's that not hurts. what you need in this situation. Oh, yep, let me use his armor real quick. I, I don't care about <laughs> any move you're using at Poor all. Box, and you gotta think about this too. Villagers' boxing options aren't that great. That jab, barely any stun, and it's more something that you get a read on an opponent. And in that situation, Psycho just able to armor through it with Ragnar. Sorry, I know I called it Ragnar, but I know it's Aether. Point is, I played Fire Emblem. Nice, looking to kind of land back at the ledge. I like it. Doesn't go for center stage. Doesn't want to eat that big punish from Villager, nice. but the axe swing. This gives yeah. Harvey a bit of a lead here, 119. Up smash out of shield. Oh, nice. Yeah, Harvey's trying to abuse this lead as much as he can. No follow-up on the down tilt either. Oh, yeah, very unsafe dash attack. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a really good job playing around the ether right now. Oh, oh man, if you got that second forward air to connect, it would have been really good for him. But there's the anti-air up tilt. Finally taking that stock, but this is a pretty good lead for, for Javi right now. Okay. Yep, just doing respect the ether at the ledge. Nice, near out of shield, taking the jumps as well. Oh, the armor from the ether saving his life. It's another chance at uh, taking this game, but man, Javi is just keeping up the pressure right now. Great parry. Yeah, 144. Oh. Nice. He wanted to catch that jump out of shield just because he had enough pressure, but Psycho oh. knows. Um, no slouch here. 49%. This is any man's game. Gonna go for it. Chance. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. Going for the ether spike. He wants that early kill, but there's a nair to the forward air. Watch the landing here. Oh, yep, good big catch. Ether. Oh, Rage Ike is terrifying right now. So many things can kill. He hasn't pinned at the ledge, but there's a Lloyd Rocket. Get some stage control back. Okay. Gonna set up the axe. Oh, my god. Destroying the Lloyd Rocket with the Nair, but he's not out of the woods yet. Very bad counter to go for. Okay. Careful with the tree and the Lloyd here. He has oh. to do that quick drop. Yeah, and he's in he should yep. be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. That was a great lot snipe. to account for. Great snipe. Great snipe out of the, the quick draw. That was very scary, though. I think if Psychod got back to the ledge, uh, things are going to be really, really bad. 
<laughs> for for <laughs> Javi. Bad indeed. Bad indeed. Well, nonetheless, here, finally, Javi getting a little breath of fresh air here. Finally yeah. puts a point on the board, 2-1. That was really good, too, because, like you said, he forced out the quick draw, and then he got hit by another forwarder, and Ike's recovery is pretty susceptible. So as long as Javi is really, really trapping down Psychot in those situations, he will get the better of it, even though the fact that it was any man's game to win, because literally Psychot just needed one air, one forward air, one a fair, and it would have been over. Yeah, Rage Ike is terrifying he just needed one opening if he got back to the the ledge but uh if the village is on point ike without a double jump shouldn't make it back for the most part yeah but even then like psycho's recoveries are also very good most of the time like that one, that one Stagger at the end there, where he got the ether armor on the bowling ball. That was like so good. Ready? Okay, let's see though. Ike has a plethora of counter picks. He can go in this matchup. Very, very, very good for him. Oh, Kalos. We're actually pretty surprised to see this one, though. I uh, expected either like a battlefield or Smashville or town. But let's see how this goes. Already pinning Javi on the corner of the stage. Yeah, I always get uh, worried for Javi when he uses that Lloyd Rocket in neutral like that just because Ike has so many ways to hit him for using that move. But uh, he's using it in a way to just kind of force uh, Saikai to jump in the air and then hit him with the forward air, see if he can uh, send him to the corner of the stage. Nice movement. Oh, okay, that's a good trade for Javi. Oh, oh yep. no, Hop yeah. Jump. Hop, Hop the, the jump. jump. He See, didn't even get time to use a quick draw either. That was actually very good stuff, Rob. He caught him in the startup, too. Oh, that was a good empty hop here. Just to try to get the landing with dash attack. Unfortunately, unable to find it here. Hobby on 109, but he oh. finally sees he's still in disadvantage, and the dash attack will take care of the stock. Very, very strong move. One of the best landing traps in the game, I would say. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> He didn't That's... even commit to his uh his ether armor there. I was actually very surprised he just let that bowling ball hit him like that. But hey, we'll take it, man. That's a really, really early stock for Javi. Huge lead, probably the best lead he's had in this uh this set so far. Um a little bit of pressure with Nair, unable to finish it off though, but this is enough for Javi to kinda of come back with a couple aerials. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's doing an amazing job at just hitting Psychot's jumps where he's most vulnerable, honestly. Yeah, it's going to be up to Javi oh. to find these big whiff punishes to be able to turn things around and then catching the jumps as well has been really crucial for Javi, especially with this lead he's put himself in. Excellent jump here with the forward air as well. Finally able to inch it through. I like it to set himself up for the stall because he knows the 5 percent center stage can mean a lot and the difference between a comeback and a victory. Great job to send him off stage. Yep, covering the platform as well. Running out of jumps too, but the quick draw saves him. Still not enough, but he needs to get this stock. Every little hit that Javi gets, he's just slowly building this lead even more. Yeah, and if you think about it, when Javi plays at the ledge with those aerials and the ledge jump, it's so hard for Ike because he has really poor out of stage options. You know, he doesn't want to be so susceptible. Nice, that's going to be a catch on the stock. Field. Yep. All right. I can definitely win this still. Especially oh, if he goes definitely. for like uh, a Nair Ether spike at the ledge. Oh, oh this going to be tough. Oh, he was too far away. 
I just love on Psychot to always keep holding the shield against the, the Lloyd rocket, just because, you know, there's always going to be a four different villager and he wants to catch a jump out of shield. Oh, this is a big comeback oh, for Psychot. Yeah. yeah, big combo here. A lot of empty hops here. He's swinging in for the neutral. They're unable to find oh. it, but Javi with the up tilt. Psychot off the stage here. Javi looking for the catch. Oh, he was looking for the axe. Very, very risky. Oh, there it is. Caught the landing. Man, I wonder what frame X comes out. Probably like like six or something. Pretty fast. That was really fast. <laughs> that was really, really fast here. And just like that, Javi on Earth pushes game five. What a catch in the landing. We've been seeing a Psychod kind of catch the landings previously, but now Javi's kind of had the shoe on the other foot. Axe is frame six. Yeah, it's good to catch people. Anything frame seven and below is ridiculously good. Mm, yeah, yeah, six. Yes, it just seemed like a frame six type move. Very, very quick. All right, Javi, man. He's really uh, turning this match around. This match was not easy for Villager, I would say, but he's just gotten so good at getting these edge guards and catching these uh, this jump habit from Psychod to the point where he can't really abuse the, the Ike hitboxes as he was before. So, let's see. So, I got to get to another counter pick here. I honestly did not agree with the Kalos pick for the last game. I definitely think Villager favored that stage a lot more. Same. But I now, agree. he has Town and City. I like this platform layout for Ike. If he can get, like, a Nair extension, very good for him. Also, yeah. uh, he has the great aerials of pressure to landing it. If Javi does try to retreat to a platform, I can cover it pretty well. Indeed. Triplots are really good for Ike just because he can just narrow train you up air, combo you all the way across to the blast zone. Yeah, it's also going to help his recovery too if he wants to quick draw high. Most definitely. That's a big factor. All right, well, Javi, a little bit of the boxing match here, and he puts a little bit on Psychod, but Psychod now has Javi on the receiving end. Yeah, getting bullied in the corner just a little bit. Anytime yeah. you can get a villager into like trying to throw out a, a raw a raw grab, I think that's when you know you're in a good spot. That move is very laggy. Yeah, see, he's just trying to get these grabs. I mean, he's not getting punished for it yet, but a uh, very laggy option. If Psychod baits it out, he can probably get a kill. Oh, there's the Nair again going through the Lloyd Rocket. Oh, nice. Gets the back throw. Oh, and yeah, that's the early high quick draw. He doesn't want to get sniped out of his jump or forced to go low. Oh, opportunity here, though. Back hit of Nair. Oh, okay. He tried to retreat to the platform, but he drifts back to the ledge. Nice high quick draw yet again, allowing him to get back to center stage safely. Yeah, Psychot is looking for that Nair. What a catch here. Oh, he sees the aggression. He oh, sees the aggression. Not at the kill, though. You have to give it to Javi there, too, because he sees that Psychot is towards the ledge, and he wants to push that advantage and change it to the stock. He tries oh. to catch him on that one, but ceiling of Town and City is good enough for Ike oh. here. Oh, man, that was such a risky quick draw, Ooh. but there's the big F tilt. Javi with that super slow grab. The startup is not enough. Yeah, and the F tilt. By the F tilt. I have to have some decent range to catch that here. Forward air. Oh. Gonna go high. Yeah. Nice, nice auto cancel on the platform. Very great recovery. Javi's looking for the landing here, but he can't find it. Good on Psycho to take a little bit of time to damage the tree. Good play. Good oh. play. That was a good nice. coverage, but the problem was that he didn't grab the ledge again. Yeah. And it's so he, hard uh, didn't, to do that. Yeah, he didn't hold back to grab the ledge, so the uh, ether is punishable. Yep, another good punish. Almost gets carried off stage. Oh, this is the start of it? No, aggressive Nair. Yeah, oh my reversal. god, that dash attack. <laughs> dash attack is crazy. <laughs> Up there, yep. High ceiling, still able to survive, but that puts Villager at such a tough spot. Oh, Ooh. it's a lock. Tech situation oh. too, so close. Oh. What a reversal, what a reversal. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. He dropped that follow up and died for it. All right, Psycho looking for that safe passage to the center stage here. Gets in with neutral air. Quick draw. <laughs> Three of them at that. <laughs> We're going the pot of greed of quick draws, man. He wanted to draw every card on the deck. It's actually a pretty good landing trap, honestly. Even though it doesn't do that much percent. 
Oh, gonna go high again. Yeah, this is why the town pick is so good for Ike. Oof, catch, oh, no, yeah. That's, yeah, really good snipe on the jump, too. And it's hard, too, because Psychon wants to come to the stage. So at that point, like, he would have been better off taking off the platform, but I totally understand where Psychon was thinking, right? Just try to come back. Nope, no nair back there. It still gets the platform pressure. Mm, no. Nope. Like he was hunting for it. He was hunting for it. He yeah. wanted Javi to commit to the air dodge. Yeah, that would have been easy up there. But uh, Javi just goes to ledge. Okay. Mixing, mixing it up with a down tilt. Good, good, good change up. Yeah, I like that Lloyd too. Allowed him to get back to center. Oh, Ooh, that, was that would have been a the read. Best down tilt he could have done. <laughs> Anything else would have died, but there's a landing trap with that super powerful dash attack. Hunting his landing down perfectly. Psychon's going to take game five with the very, very aggressive play at the end there. Great stuff. Great stuff to him.